Or why not? I just imagine like the end cat, the song was playing in the background. <laughs> Everybody's just riding flashes back. They're just like, skit. <laughs> come with me, Carol. Pop Tart Cats. <laughs> that was Pop Tart Berry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's so to make that now. Oh. He's just got, he's got like, Kara's holding onto his leg, and then John is holding on to her leg, and it's just like a chain. We gotta go. Yes, um. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? It's DJ here with my brothers, Jeremy and Bears. Six times a charm. Damn, Daniel. <laughs> Bring you another weekly recap of this week's episode of Supergirl. Tonight's episode is called Truth, Justice, and the American Way. Roll the clip. Nod shows up at Kara's apartment and asks her to accompany him, much to Alex's dismay. They perform a Kryptonian burial for Astra, but after, he threatens to kill Kara once he is done grieving. Kara, Alex, and John track a masked man who attacked Alex. They also find out that he is killing Fort Ra's prisoners. Kara fights him, but after an epic battle, he manages to escape with his latest victim, Mr. Poodle. Meanwhile, at Catco, Kara has a new rival and Cat's new assistant, Siobhan Smythe. Kara, win and Jimmy take an instant dislike towards her. Lucy finds out Jimmy is working with the DEO and Supergirl and leaves disappointed. Kara and Alex confront the man they believe is the serial alien killer, but are surprised to learn it is his partner, Carl Draper, otherwise known as Master Jailer, who was a guard on Fort Ross. He shoots Alex and abducts Kara. Kara and Mr. Poodle bond over their memories of their lives on their respective planets when Master Jailer appears. He prepares to kill Mr. Poodle, but is interrupted by Alex, who found his secret lair. She frees Mr. Poodle and Kara, who easily defeats Beats Master Jailer. Kara decides to let Lord go, with her and Alex promising to expose him should he say anything about the DEO and Kara's identity. Kara talks to her mother about the Myriad, but the hologram freaks out and disconnects. Kara has a falling out with John over him killing Astra and asks for space. When will Siobhan turn to Silver Banshee, or is she already? Kara takes a visit to the Fortress of Solitude next week, while Indigo plots to destroy National City. Somebody save me! Barry Allen is coming, world's finest. Superman, crypto, boo. This this is pretty heavy episode. I mean, I guess everything is kind of like straightforward-ish, but a lot went down. So Karen Alex just chilling, got interrupted by Nan, who I don't know. Did, did you feel like he was really respecting her in that way that he's just like, I, I need you to come here because I know your aunt would have wanted you here. Yeah. And they did the whole uh burial of Rao. Mm-hmm. Is that what it was called? The Sun God. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then he's just like, but I'll be back. I'm going to kill you still. Yeah. Your aunt wanted you here. Yeah. And then uh, she still, you know, has an attitude with John because he still thinks that he killed Astra. How, do, how, you, how long do you think it's going to last before she figures out that it's Alex that's doing it or that did it? I don't know. Because they can play it out pretty long, but yeah. I hope it never changes. <laughs> Yeah? You don't want her to figure out? Nah. Why? What do you think? What's the worst that could happen? You think that she would really turn her back on her sister if she found out that she killed her aunt? I think, it, yeah, it would be like a nice little wedge driven in there. Maybe not talk to each other. For a little nope. bit. I mean, I kind of understand why she's like that with John because, like, she knows him, but not as well as Alex, so... Yeah, but the fact if, that it's it's being held out this long yeah. already it is going to make it's her gonna, more pissed. So I don't know whether or not John made the right what do you guys think do you think he made the right move in t- saying like blame me yep now we got to talk about the humans here Kara has a new rival in the office and I thought that whole part was just funny with with uh freaking Siobhan Siobhan uh, yeah she's like that's how you pro- I didn't know that's how you pronounced it I thought it was like Siobhan or something like that have you ever seen Siobhan spelled like that no that, that reminds me of Chopin <laughs> whatever I see that. That's I've never even seen the word sh- sh- oh, fucking whatever. <laughs> that, that's like a fil- Filipino thing. Yeah. Uh, it um, just reminds me of that. But yeah. So she is, uh, that is going to be Silver Banshee eventually. Oh, is it really? Yeah. So what's going to turn her? I'm not sure. Maybe she is already. She's just hiding it. I don't know. But it's so a cat grant hiring like superhuman people. I think that's a, uh, what is this, guys? One, two, three. Custory. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she is already. We don't know. She's kind of proved that she, all she really is right now is that she's kind of bitch. She's pretty, but she's kind of bitch. Yeah, you see that wink? 
to win. I know. He's like, he's like, a, <laughs> this is know. uncomfortable. <laughs> I shouldn't be liking anyone else. Yeah. yeah. So they have that little rivalry going on. She wants to make it where Kat is. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see how she kind of plays into being Supergirl's like arch enemy, I guess. And that's kind of messed up. She's assistant one. Yeah. Kara's assistant two. <laughs> uh, then we got Kara and Jimmy. They're kind of going at it a little bit this episode. He was mm-hmm. saying that, do you think that what she's doing is right? Let's just ask that question. Keeping a guy like Lord yeah, in, in uh, prison without their way. I don't trust Lord as far as a normal person could throw him. Yeah. That fucker is bad news. <laughs> <laughs> you think that he deserves to just be jailed without having any sort of normal justice brought to him? With the le- I mean, Damn he- right. We locked him away. Shit. We forgot the keys. Where'd he go again? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? I don't know, man. I probably would have done the same thing. I think so. Because he's too bad. He's he's a bigger threat than like people like Jiminy would think. Because I don't <laughs> think Jimmy. It, it sounds like you said Jiminy. Jimmy. <laughs> Jim, 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 Jim. Sorry. Yeah, I, I feel like he doesn't see what he can do. Yeah, he's very much like Lex from Smallville. Yeah. It's like they want to protect the world, but at the same time, they're doing more damage. I feel like he should have seen what he could do when yeah. he had that big ass wrench and he was almost going to wreck Jimmy. Yeah. but And Jimmy was still like, the, the balls on this dude. He's, he still had, yeah. like, he still said to her, like, you're no better than him, basic, even though he tried to kill him, like you said. Yeah, and like, was that last episode? No, it was like three episodes ago. Oh, okay, okay. And moving forward from that, we have Jimmy and Lucy with their drama. And uh, he's he's a bad liar. Every dude on these shows is a bad liar. He slipped up pretty bad. I'm talking about yeah. D.O.? <laughs> I mean, not the, the OED. Yeah, <laughs> she's yeah. like, I never said anything. He's like, yeah, yeah, you did. You just said, you said the D.E.O. And she's like, no, I just said it's an unmarked car that belonged to a government agency. Oh, and he's just no. like, oh, at, uh, whatever. And she's like, are you <laughs> seeing Supergirl? He's just like, he should have no. said no. Yeah. <laughs> and then you got Siobhan. Siobhan. Just Siobhan. Okay, Siobhan. She's just listening on everyone's conversation. She listened to Jimmy and Kara, and then she listened in on, uh, what do you call that? Which is cool. I like that. You know why? Why? Because uh, Silver Banshee has super hearing, and it has a lot to do with the voice. So it's kind of like foreshadowing what she's going to be. Ooh. So... Yo, that's crazy. I, I did I just not realize that, that right up. now. Okay, now we have to talk about the, the big bad this episode. Carl Draper, who is... I At first, when I saw the chains and I saw him and they said Galactic Bounty Hunter, of course I said Lobo. Yeah, you screamed it. You're like, I was like Jeremy, oh, that's Lobo. He's Lobo. But then I realized Lobo would never probably wear something that yeah. and he said his real name so you guys know who lobo is right you yeah told, he, you told me he's like a bounty hunter as yeah well, right? he rides a motorcycle ah. and goes on and he's basically like a really cool dude on a bike he hunts down aliens and kind of sends them to his boss i think he works for dark side i'm not sure oh um but no it turns out he is th- this guy is called the master jailer who works oh. at Force, Force is he Bras. like the the highest of high no cards, he's or just up there He's up there, but he he's from a long line of jailers because his parents apparently did that. But uh, okay, I don't know if he was superhuman. Do you think that thing was just all in the suit? Uh, uh yes, because mm-hmm. it did say or that's what fucking what's his name? Henshaw, <laughs> Henshaw, that's one. Jesus, John, that was John, hard. Yeah, Henshaw was saying that he's from a certain species that was like highly advanced in technology. Ah. Uh. Yeah, but yeah, so Lobo was kind of like that too. That's why I kind of thought those two. Yeah, and then he kidnaps the dude. What are we gonna call that guy? Professor. Professor, what? What's a fun, like a good name to give him so we can call him that for the rest of the talk? Uh, I, I want to call him Professor Poodle. Okay, we'll call him. Okay, yeah, <laughs> Professor Poodle was an alien uh, from Stone. We are up a creek without a poodle. <laughs> and I'll mention right. more about that Star Haven. Uh, okay. He said that uh, he came from there. Yeah. And he got in the drug trade to make more money. So basically, just like people here on Earth, they go to the the extremes to get, you know, make ends meet. Yeah. And his wife killed herself because he went to jail. And he came to Earth to start over. Yeah. Turn a new drunk. leaf. Yeah. So he's not, not all aliens in Fort Ross are bad, I guess. That's what Kara learned. Yeah. And he's about to get, you know his head decapitated and she's Alex comes in and saves the day um 
like Alex does. Yeah, that was pretty badass. She like I mean <laughs> at the moment though, it just started through the floor, yo. Yeah. That's dope. Was that a volcano under his house? It's just a big ass cave. He just dug out, or maybe that's where it crashed, or he just yeah. built something a over, it. over yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, and, and Master Jailer is dealt with pretty quickly. I don't. That sounded like he killed him for a second. Yeah, when she choked him out. Or yeah, because you hear a little crack, but uh, and then we get uh the talk from Jimmy lets her let Laura know. Do you think that was a good move, letting him go? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess he's gonna wreck havoc, yo. Yeah, he is gonna wreck havoc now. Let's talk about the action. I like the fight scenes, um, but bears, go ahead, do your thing. <laughs> Actually, mine uh, most of the fight scenes is one I can't. I can't recall any ones that bother me. Ooh, ooh, okay, yeah, that's a good. Th- I, I think I might actually call out one thing. Why? Is the fact that what she day? kept flying up ooh. when she was fighting the guy that was oh. always getting her. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, with the chains. Yeah, <clears throat> like she knew. Fly away. Was- Quick, I'm a split, nah. <laughs> Because she, she knew like how he fought. So yeah. why would you take it to the air? Just use the super speed like she did. That was pretty dope. Yeah. I, I like that. I couldn't screen cap it because it, it, she's too it fast. fast. Yeah. But um, they should utilize that more. Yeah. Definitely. Where she sped behind him. Yeah. That was dope. Because like they're unless the enemy takes the fight themselves up to the air, just keep it down low. Yeah. And, and fight. Like because she did. Yeah, she for she most seemed of to like yeah. have him on her side yeah like when she grabbed the the chains and then yeah. started like whacking them with it. <laughs> but then she like th- like at the very end of the fight when she got caught in all the chains she flew up yeah that was kind of i was like why it's okay uh it's pretty good i guess the, the fight the fighting between them that was on the ground was really good I liked yeah it. now easter eggs you guys uh, got any oh go. yes i got go the one go go i got my one Go. So during that fight, when uh, she's fighting what's his face with the chains and the BDSM, uh, she made a comment. (laughs) (laughs) I love how you just slipped that in there. (laughs) Yeah, she said, I didn't know uh, masks were a thing outside that other city. Oh, Oh, snap. Flare reverse drop. Nice. That's a big one. Now, I, I got the Rao, which is their sun, uh, the their mythological. Is that how you say? Yeah. It? Uh, sun god. Like Ra. Yeah. Yeah. That that was on Smallville as well. That the book of Rao. Mm. So that was a pretty good thing. And then Star Haven. Yeah. Was a I got I got my my notes here. Is a fictional planet that was depicted in DC Comics Legion of Superheroes in the 30th and 31st centuries. Uh, you think they're ever gonna go there? Thing. I don't know now, but because the Legion, I think the Flash would be sorry. The, the Legion ring was in the Flash. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know. Maybe because he mentioned that their people are like winged people. So it's funny he can't fly on Earth because his ability was negated. I guess. Um, but they're yeah, they're basically like Native American ish, I guess, in the the way that they live and the way that mm. they look. But they're like bird people. That, that's what Mr. Poodles were, so that's kind of funny we're calling him that, but he's like more like a bird person. But yeah, I think that was one, and yeah, that, those are my Easter eggs. I think that's it. Uh, that's just the, I didn't that's get any. Just much yeah. Uh, Did you get a preview? Uh, um, <laughs> no. Indigo's coming. Oh. And Indigo is played by Laura Vanderwerf. Is she the blue, was the blue lady? Super girl. Uh, yes. No, well, she's like Peel. Yeah. She's teal. Still, still blue. Um, and <laughs> <Just saying. laughs> yeah, she's coming to Supergirl to launch a bunch of nukes on National City. Dang. She's like Brainiac 5, but a girl. I think I mentioned that before. Like, oh, you know, okay, okay. And like I said, she's a Smallville alumni, so it's pretty cool. She, she, uh, the only thing I have a problem with is that it she kind of looks like Mystique. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was just like, yeah. why is there uh, X-Man on? <laughs> a little bit, but I, you know, we'll give it a chance, I guess. Yeah, and I also saw Fortress. That's yeah. all I got to see. Oh yeah, she's going was to that Fortress Jimmy Solitude. That showed him? Yeah, Jimmy showed, showed her. Yeah, she took, Sorry, he took her to the Fortress of Solitude. Uh, Does that mean we get this? And the Fortress look like the one on? Is that? Uh, <laughs> I don't want. Okay, you know I'm already gonna say Barry. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I, I think that's it's not gonna happen, but it could happen. Smallville is in Flareverse. 
confirmed. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, but we're going to have to see him eventually. If we get to see his little playpen, we're going to have to see him. Somebody. You just hear that when he when she walks into yeah. the fortress? Somebody say. <laughs> She's like, where's my theme song? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I think that's, that's pretty much it. I can't really theorize other than episode 18 is when we're going to see the Flash. Yeah. And I don't know if they're trying to throw us off or anything, but not that the creator, but the head of CBS said, and this is the head, not like Mark uh, Guggenheim, not um, Greg Berlanti or anybody like that. It's so the, no one, no one uh, a part of the show. Just really, yeah, higher, just, yeah. yeah. Uh, he said that it's because Barry can go through like the different worlds that we're going to see. So it, it might not even be part of the, you, you get what I'm saying? Not their earth, just a different one. But I would really, really liked it if they existed in the same place. But then again, I guess we can't have everything. So episode 18, world's finest. It? So that's going to be epic. Maybe this is what's going to bring her and John back together. Whatever bad guy. Who do you think is going to be the bad guy in that? The episode? Yeah, if we had to mm. guess. Uh, mm. Zoom. No. <laughs> Zoom? <laughs> Zoom comes to, the, what do you call it? No. to recruit some more baddies? No. Um, yes. Uh, a meta. A meta is gonna run. Yeah. Through. Maybe a meta That's runs through the there. breach, and he's got a zoom chase tosses it. him in there, and then flashes. Just Hold like, on, let's back it up a little bit. Yeah, okay, yeah. Good. first we got We gotta assume that we're gonna have Flash show up for the purpose of maybe teaching Kara some new tricks to augment her skill set. Yeah, yeah. Fight said villain. So knowing this, what villains do we know of that can compete in speed with Flash? Well, aside from Zoom. Uh, versus Flash. The turtle? Tur Turtle's dead. Yeah. But, but I'm saying it could also, because remember, um, Cisco's other half, right? Sonic Vibrations. So I'm saying Silver Banshee is the same way. So like she could essentially stop them because of her, like her screams, because it, it interrupts the speed. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so, so it could so, be her. So maybe it is her. Could be her. Um, possibilities. Yeah, Bears, who do you think it is? Maybe it's Mase Menos and they ran through and Flash is trying to get them back. <laughs> you know who Mase Menos is, Bears? No. The two uh, Hispanic speedsters. And they, they like, uh, they're, they're short twins. and stiff. Yeah, and they have to hold each other's hands to move super speed. Yeah. Never heard of them, like on Teen Titans, though? Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I don't know who else, because we haven't seen anybody else. Yeah, uh, Bears, who do you think it could be? <sighs> if you were to guess. King Shark. I don't know it has that. to be something that could be overcome with speed. Mm -hmm. well, at least that's what I think, or that's what it should be. Mm -hmm. That's what I think it should be. Beyond that, I have no freaking idea. Who can stop time? Like, that's what, yeah, it has to be somebody that has the ability to stop time and create sonic vibration. This is tricky. Yeah. Tricky it's, one. It's I would like to put my money on Silver Banshee because she's the only one, one that could kind of mess up your day. I mean, if they're going to go all out, I'd say Zoom, but if they're not going to go all, all out, I'd go with yours, Silver Banshee. Or we could just have everything we want and Zoom goes <laughs> with the Silver Banshee. <laughs> Yeah, it just causes. Okay, let's take a step back even farther. Then, <laughs> what uh, kind of what villains are known for? I guess fighting all of the Justice League or frequent interruption or pest to the Justice League. Doomsday, Mongol, uh, Gorilla Grodd. Mongol, isn't he have to do with those stupid plants? Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. So maybe Zoom, Silver Banshee, Mongol. Yeah. If we had to pick, like, if I had to pick a perfect lineup, of course it would just be those three. That would be crazy. You get the if speed, the like, strength, and the. What, what if it's like that? like a race, right? Zoom and Flash, and then they end up going to, like, they're fighting in the Speed Force, and then they end up in National City. Oh and then shoot! He's just like, where the hell are we? And then he runs away. Yeah. And then he meets. Supergirl, and he's like, hey, could you think you can help me? Yo, that's crazy. I don't know if they'd take it that far, Why like, not, that quickly. Though? Why not? And, and then, that, uh, that could work. Or maybe Barry just trips while he's trying to make his way back to Earth 2 and land there. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> if we want yeah. it to be that simple. Yeah, what Yeah. What if it is, it's just so like Barry's that? just being a clumsy person and it just trips while he's Yeah, because what Jay said, world. he's like, make sure you don't look at anything. Yeah. When they first went to the speed force, so he trips on a little pebble. <laughs> a little trips pebble. on something, or yeah. maybe he's too distracted. He yeah. went to the wrong Earth. Yeah, because we know that 
Earth Two is gonna come back because he yeah. said that they're gonna he's gonna go back there because the the face reveal is gonna yeah be it coming soon. So, so yeah. yeah, what if this is just like like an in between episode? Maybe maybe we will see Zoom. That'll be crazy though. Imagine seeing Zoom on Supergirl wow. just for like a quick second, and then he's just like leaves Barry there. Yeah, <laughs> we got some crazy. What if that's theories. all we get on the episode? Just like we don't get Flash actually showing up in the episode per se. Yeah. We just see like a fucking red streak just <laughs> pop up, and that's it. I hope not that was the crossover. <laughs> I hope not because they're still filming it. So yeah, like it's pretty. It's supposed to be a pretty big episode. I'm excited though. Whatever's gonna happen. Well, I just uh, heard the news today. It seems my life is gonna change. <laughs> I think I'm by my side. I don't know why I go back to Creed. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, it fits. Finish it, Bears. We're thumbs wide open. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now, what do you guys rate this episode? I give this a Mr. Poodle was a very cool guy uh, out of Flash is Coming. Get excited. Two assistants are better than one. Yeah, I did me again. Okay. <laughs> I like that one. Uh, how about uh, Up Shots Creek without a poodle? <laughs> <sighs> ah, you took mine and made it better. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> um, any final thoughts? Solid episode? Yeah. Solid episode. Well, we all Solid had episode. Good. We I all hope had the good. professor yeah. comes back. He's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. You think he's gonna be of help in the future? No, I just gonna be maybe like, like yeah, he just like shows up as like uh Do you need I to learn like, more about stars? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Maybe he can help them, you know pinpoint where things are because if he knows about astronomy he probably knows about the universe yeah oh, he helps barry get back you have to go to this star <laughs> and then make sure it's this time and then you can make it back to his one dude wait let me let me just look up something real quick yeah they go on spiritual grand tours of the galaxy these his, his people, people from star haven yeah so why not i just imagine like the end cat the song was playing in the background <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's just riding flashes back. They're just no like, get, space. <laughs> like as yeah, as they're floating by, they're just like, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Come with me, Carol. Pop tart cats. <laughs> no, it's pop tart berry. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, someone should make that now. Bear. He's just got. He's got like Kara's holding onto his leg, and then. John is holding on to hair leg and there's just like a chain. With all no, the should, cast. Someone should freaking make that Photoshop that. Instead of flashing the yen, oh, instead of <laughs> sorry, like way instead of flashing like, the yen yen cat, it'll be like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, but yeah, tonight's episode was really solid. I liked it. And that being said, you guys, go leave a comment down below what you thought about the episode. And leave a like down as well. If you uh, down as well, leave a like as well if you enjoyed. And like on like like the like 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 over to my channel <laughs> where we do uh, Agents of Shield, and I got some gameplay going on there. Woo! Agents of Shields come soon. Be sure to check out our movie pilot and social links as well down below in the description. And with that being said, we'll see you guys tomorrow on The Flash. Woo! Movie papaya. Movie papaya. Bye. Pop dark, Go Barry. Go to papaya if you want to leave. <laughs> <laughs>